Hey what is up everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be playing Kerbal Space Program and doing a tutorial on how to get to the moon. Now people call it moon, people call it moon, um, people call it whatever they want but um, what I'm going to do is give you the most simple tutorial there is. Um, I've seen quite a lot of YouTube videos where it seems quite difficult and quite complex but um, I promise you this is a very simple tutorial on how to get yourself to the moon. Um, just a quick note is the first one I'm playing on PC and um, people that are playing on console and following console I'll be saying everything that I'm doing and um, it should be pretty easy to follow and the second note is if you want me to show you how to build this rocket so you can use it as well just let me know in the comment section and I will make a video on that but um, let's get started so what you want to do is get your rocket and you want to get it on the launch pad now second thing is toggle SAS what it's going to do is going to help stabilize your rocket and just kind of helps along the way really and um, the next thing you want to do is hold shift to throttle or whatever the key binding is that you've got and click space and we go so this is the start we're off we have lift off ladies and gentlemen and the thing you want to do is try and keep this as centered as possible this rocket doesn't really move too much i've made it pretty good so it doesn't it's not the nicest looking thing but it does get me to the moon so it is uh it's definitely helpful so what we want to do is keep going um, I'm going to use my fuel till it gets to the bottom and runs out and carry on but we want to get to about 70,000 meters and when we get there that's when I'm going to show you what to do next but once these run out I'm going to drop these off and then I'm going to time warp but I will explain all that once we're there um, if you like the video and it does help you remember to smack that like button smash that subscribe button turn notification bells on to stay up to date guys I do appreciate everything I really appreciate the way people have been treating my channel recently, I've had some good comments, people liking, subscribing, we've been growing really well, so thank you to all those people that have even decided to spend time to watch my videos, so thank you. But, let's continue with the tutorial. My rocket does start to heat up, don't worry about that, I've made it so it does that, these will click off before I explode. Um, it's a bit of a risky one, but it works. As you can see, they turn off, I cool down. Get rid of the rockets, turn the throttle off, I'm going to click space to get rid of them. And now what I want to do is I want to, don't show again, please go away. I want to time warp until I get to about 70,000 feet. Which is feet, meters, which is now. So at 70,000 meters, I want you to look at your little ball down here and move this, keep SAS on by the way, move this to the halfway point between 90, so you're a little bit in the red, a little bit in the blue. So you're midway just like that and this is where we want to sit because the next step we are going to do is we are going to create an orbit around earth so if you click m and go to your map here she is i want you to zoom in here and i want you to warp time warp all the way just before the ap and this is how we're going to create our orbit just slowly like that maybe a little bit more to about there so once you're there and you've got your cursor and your ball here, so you should be facing something like that. I want you to go full throttle and start your next engines, or however your rocket works. I want you to start your engines again, and we're off. And we sort of just leave it like that. That's where we're going, all the way over there. It's crazy. It's not as easy as just getting your rocket and flying straight to the moon. Um, you've got to do orbits and all that fun stuff first. But as you can see, it's starting to create an orbit. We want to create quite a nice one. The better the orbit, the easier it makes it. So, nice and flat, as you can see. I've done it before. This is just another rocket that's going around an orbit that I was going to get back into uh, Earth, but I sort of gave up with that. But, yeah, we're going here. Obviously, once you become a pro, you can go all the way out to ELO. I've been to Jewel. I haven't been to ELO, but I have been to Jewel. But, um, like I say, keep going. You just need a lot of, lot of fuel to get out there. A bigger rocket, but... It basically works the same way, guys. But like I said, just keep your rockets going in the AP. This will create a big, nice circle round Earth. And it will look nice and juicy. But um, what I've done before is um, I sometimes put rovers on the top of my rocket to take to planets. So I can cut about on planets. I mean, on Moon, there's some Easter eggs as well. So not literally Easter eggs, like chocolate Easter eggs. Easter eggs as in little 
how do I how to explain it? Just little parts of the game that make it fun. Um, I'll, I'll show you. There's like memorials and stuff on there for people that have actually been to the moon in real life. But maybe I'll do a video. Maybe I'll do a video on some Easter eggs. But um, like I said, it takes time. It's a waiting game. Make sure you stay in the middle. I've been talking, so I've drifted a bit. But um, the best you stay there, the better your orbit will be. The better the orbit. And we just wait. We just wait. And whilst we're waiting, guys, be sure to drink some water. Stay hydrated, because that's what I'm going to do. Talking a lot makes my throat very dry. Brilliant stuff. Right. And it's about to pop out now. And once it pops out, don't can cancel your fuel yet. Leave it to go just for a little bit. Um, your rocket should start to move around. You want to get it out just a little bit because you can't time warp as fast once it's close to a planet. So to about there. And once it's there, I want you to click X and switch off your throttle so your fuel isn't wasted. And I want you to time warp around to the PE. And now what we're going to do is push this AP all the way out so it can have a connection with the moon. My time warp's gone really slow. Um, like I said, push it out as far as possible so your time warp isn't like that. But um, yeah, once you get round to PE, it should be fine, just like that. Stop your time warp and start throttling. You want to be in this circle here. So there's a circle with an X, there's a circle without an X. Go into the circle with an X, just where you were when you were trying to create an orbit. And this will start pushing out, just like that. You see I'm going to run out of fuel, but I'll have to use the next piece of fuel anyway. And it'll start going a lot faster. Oh, oh I didn't make it. I'm going to get rid of that fuel. Oh, my fuel's decided to be horrible. Turn your throttle off so it doesn't just blast out. Start your next rocket and slowly push your fuel and it should go bang. Just like that. So that is our encounter with the moon. So now what we want to do is start time warping. It's going to take some time if it takes too long guys because I've messed it up here. But usually it shouldn't take this long to time warp. But if it does I will cut the video so you don't need to sit here and watch it all. Right. I'm finally out of the times four, so I can time warp a bit faster now. You don't want to go too fast, guys. Um, sorry I messed that up. It's not really a big mess up. It's just uh, to take time to time warp round. You can still do it. Um, but if your orbit's big enough, you can time warp faster. But it's just time consuming. Um, once you're further enough away, you can time warp. And this is our encounter with Moon, as you can see. The Moon encounter. Moon encounter. Um, take your time with going with this. We'll go slow, and you can see... Here we go, it's going to match up now, it will clock on, just like that, oh, this went very strange, keep going round, just like that, and there's our moon encounter. Just like that. And if we go into on here on our ball, am I still time walking? I am. If we go to here. I think it's the one with an X, my bad. Go to the one with an X like that and you throttle. I'll pull it round this way. Just like so. What you want to do is we want to create an orbit around this. So if you go around to uh, around to the 90 again and start throttling, it will start pushing it out and we can create an orbit. Let's 
there we go we've got the PE and once you get there I want you to time warp just to here like this till you're about here and what we're going to do is get this to swing round like that and the way we're going to do this is go into this little circle here with the X I'm going to start throttling as you can see bang we have an orbit it cuts into the moon there but if we keep going we can bring this bit in and what we want to do we want to go on the light side so we can see let's bring this in over here just like that I don't know if we're going to get on the light side. Yeah, we can get over there. Just like that. You want to get pretty close. So, about there. Stop walking. See, there's the moon. And you can see we are dropping. So, it takes time. Um, don't rush it. Let's go to the X one and you want to sit in the X for this one because this will help you land. So every now and then I want you to throttle to slow yourself down. Just a little bit, just like that and it will bring you all the way in this X. Um, if you're feeling brave you can time warp just a bit just to get closer to the moon. Just to save yourself some time, just like that. As you can see this will bring me all the way in. Only 9,000 feet now. Eight. Just rock it a bit like that. And it will slow me down. There you go. Just like that. Sometimes it is hard. I haven't done this in quite a while. Um, this X here will help you come all the way down. And there's no rush as long as you get a nice safe landing. You just stay in this X. And we had a bit of a crash landing. Oh god. You stay in that X until you get all the way down guys. Um, I obviously had one stand, but um, <laughs> you could say we're on the moon. You could say we're on the moon. So what we want to do now is click EVA and click space. I click R, and now I've got a path. I've got this, and now I can do whatever I want on moon. Um, obviously, it was um, it was a very strange one. I did make a few mistakes, but it is very easy, guys. It's not hard at all. Just to recap what I did. Is I flew out here. Made an orbit. Pushed it all the way out. So we could get an encounter with moon. Got an orbit around moon. And then slowly made my way down. But. Here we are. Boing. As easy as that. But. I know you can just fly around moon as much as you want. But he's just rolling in at the minute. <laughs> he's good. He's good. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, um, I hope it helped. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments. But um, Thank you ever so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on. And I will see you in the next one.